Hi, I'm Len with Hobby Universe, and today I'm going to be reviewing my process for leveling the deck on this John Deere X590 garden tractor. I picked this tractor up a couple weeks ago. I've actually already done one mowing with it. Uh, you know, everything worked great. I probably have about two hours on it right now. But um, I, I thought, you know, before I mow again, I, I thought it would be a good idea to do things like check the tire pressure and check the deck for level. Uh, probably should have done that before I mowed the first time, but uh, the grass was a little overdue. It was pretty high, and I was excited to get a new tractor, so I just went out and cut the grass. Anyway, getting ready to, to uh, mow the grass again this weekend, so I thought I would check the deck for level. And just to kind of refresh myself on the process, because it, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be very similar to, I had a 2012 X530. I think it's going to be similar to that, but I refer to the manual anyway just to make sure. And in doing so, I noticed that the, the manual that came with this thing does not exactly match what I'm seeing on the tractor. It appears in 2023, John Deere made some changes to the decks on these tractors. This is a 2024 model. And that, you know, again, those changes that were made here are not necessarily showing up in the manual. So I wanted to review my process for leveling the deck. And while I do that, I'll identify those, those discrepancies between what I'm seeing in the manual and what I'm seeing here. And the same is actually true for other videos. I know there are other videos that exist on leveling the decks on these X590s, but if the deck is yellow, uh, I believe that's going to be an indication that it's 2022 or older. And if that's the case, it likely will not be the same as what I'm seeing on this 23, 24 model. So again, this is just kind of like an update um, of the latest model. So I'll go ahead and get started on that and hopefully answer any questions you might have. When leveling the deck, you're going to want to make sure the tractor is parked on a smooth, flat surface. That'll give you the best possible measurements when it comes time to gauge and make adjustments to the deck. You're also going to want to check the pressures in all four of your tires. The manual is suggesting 14 PSI in the front and 10 in the rear. This tractor is only a couple weeks old, and up until just a few minutes ago, I hadn't checked the tire pressures, and the fronts were actually at about 16 PSI, and the rears were at about 15. So all four corners were high. I got those again. 14 in the front, 10 in the rear. I should be good as far as that goes. I also raised up the anti-scalping wheels as high as they would go. I want to make sure that they don't contact the ground and interfere with the adjustments I'm going to make. You, you want the, the deck completely suspended from the tractor. Now I'm going to position the deck into what they refer to as the deck leveling position. And to do this, I'm going to have the mower deck all the way up. And then using the deck leveling knob, I'll turn it to what they're referring to again as the deck leveling position, which is 2.5. Once it's there, I lower the deck. Tractor doesn't have to be running to do that. And now the deck is in the position where we can utilize the gauge to take the measurements we need to make the proper adjustments. This is our deck leveling adjustment wrench and also the deck leveling gauge. And this is where I found the first discrepancy between what I was seeing on the tractor and what was shown on the John Deere manual. So if we look at the John Deere manual, it shows that the wrench as well as the gauge are located under the seat. So you've got the gauge and you've got the wrench. There's like this plastic tray down there and those items are stored in there until you need them. And I know that to be true because my 2012 X530 has that exact same setup as shown in the manual. On this tractor, That doesn't exist. There's no plastic tray. There's no provision to hold those items and to store them. So that's one of the things I noticed that was different. So you will not find those items under there if you're looking for them. Mine were actually in a bag that came with the manual and some other stuff with the tractor. Some of the other versions of the X-Series, this is actually removable. There, this would act like a plug and you could pull that out and that would actually be your gauge. But again, that is not going to be the case with this one. The items were shipped loose in a bag with the manual. Now that we're ready to start leveling the deck, we're going to take the wrench that was provided with the tractor and we're going to insert it through this hole. Now there's going to be a hole on each side. So you have to do it on the left side. You have to do it on the right side. The method is exactly the same regardless of what side you're on. So I'm just going to cover the left side, but whatever I do here, I'll have to do on the other side as well. I'm going to put the wrench down through this hole and you're going to find the adjustment bolt. Sometimes that can be difficult to find. If you reach under,
you can find the bolt and then you can get your wrench to engage. It's a lot easier than um, poking and hoping, so to speak. Once you have the wrench inserted, to raise the deck, you're going to turn it clockwise. And to lower the deck, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. I'm ready to start making the adjustments to the deck. Again, there's that little dimple dot, and that indicates where the gauge is supposed to go. So I'm going to slide the gauge in, and it's not going to go. The deck is too low. So I'm going to turn the wrench clockwise. Check it again. Real close. Real close. Go a little bit more. Now the deck, or rather the gauge, passes under. I think I can come down just a touch. And that's exactly where I want it. The gauge is just almost rubbing as it passes under the deck, under that spot. That's exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and do the right side as well now. I'm not going to make you watch me do that because the process is exactly the same. One more discrepancy I found between the manual and what I'm actually seeing on the tractor is that the manual is showing that there is a number three stamped on the side of the front deck hanger bracket where you're supposed to place the gauge. So that would be down here and that's where we're gonna go next. So here's a shot of the front mower bracket. And yeah, as I said, there's no number three stamped on it. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it looks like the picture in a book. So if you're seeing that under your tractor, I can assure you, you are in the right spot. So we're going to do as we did before. We're going to take the gauge. We're going to slide it across the floor. Make sure you don't have any crap on your floor like I do. You want it to be nice and smooth and flat. Anyway, you're going to take the gauge and you're going to slide it under. So by doing so, I'm seeing that I'm, I'm pretty doggone high on the front of that. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments there. The wrench they provided is good for the rear only. It does not work on the front. For that, you're going to have to use an 18 millimeter box end wrench, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. In order to adjust the front of the mower deck, we're going to have to loosen and adjust the nuts on this connecting bar that holds the front of the mower deck up. There are 18 millimeter nuts back here, so you're going to want to loosen those, back them off. Once those are loose, then you can make adjustments here. So I need to lower the deck. To lower the deck, I'm going to loosen those and the deck will come down. Now, if I needed to raise the deck, I would tighten those up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm going to keep an eye on my gauge. Really not off by that much. I'm not going to have to go very far, so I'm just going to kind of keep a close eye on that. And I'll move these in equal amounts. Closer, not there yet. Actually went a little bit too far. So now I'm going to come back up by tightening. Perfect. I have almost no movement. There's almost no gap between the top of the gauge and the bottom of that front bracket. So now that I have that adjusted where I want it, I'll go ahead and get my wrench on these back nuts, tighten those up, and that'll hold everything in place. And we're good. Now that I've finished making the adjustments to both sides of the rear of the deck, as well as the front center. I want to check one last time the rear of the deck just to make sure any of the other adjustments I made didn't impact it. 
and we're exactly where we need to be. So we're still in good shape there. I'm going to check the right side, confirm that's good to go as well. I confirm the left side is good. Now I'm on the right side again, just under that small little weld circle they put there. And again, no issues. The deck is exactly where it needs to be. So we are level. With all of the deck leveling work complete, it's time to adjust the deck so that it is ready to start mowing. So the first thing I did was to adjust the deck position knob to three and a quarter. That's going to be my preferred height for this time of the year. Um, we're just getting into midsummer, so it's going to be a little bit drier. And I like to leave the grass somewhat higher during those drier months in the spring when it's you know, pretty wet, or even in the fall when we start to get more precipitation. I'll go ahead and I'll cut the grass a little bit shorter, but for right now I'm going to leave it higher. So again, three and a quarter is where I'm at there. I adjusted the anti-scalping wheels so that there's about a quarter to a half an inch between the bottom of the wheel and the surface when it's in its lowered position. Those wheels, they're not really made for the deck to ride on all the time. The deck is supposed to float. It hangs from those brackets. That's what it's designed to do. The wheels are simply there so that if you get on uneven ground or a hill, that'll prevent the deck from digging into the ground or the blades from scalping the top of the grass off. So that'll give you a more even cut over uneven ground. One other thing I noticed between the X 530 that I, re I replaced with this X590 was the X530 had a decal on the deck and it showed you where to set those anti-scalping wheels depending where your deck height knob was set. This doesn't have that. It's not a big deal. Um, honestly, I never really used the sticker anyway. I always just would stick my fingers under the wheel and if I had the clearance I was looking for then I knew I was good. So, but that that's just something I wanted to point out. That sticker no longer exists so if you're looking for it, you probably won't see it. Well, that's going to do it. That is my process for leveling the deck on the John Deere X530. Hopefully you learned something from the video. Maybe you enjoyed it. Maybe you hated it. That's okay, too. Either way, if you could just hit that like button, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. That'll help me build this channel. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.